Welcome everyone. Today I'm presenting a project that I worked on during my bachelor's degree at Bishop's University as a research assistant performing a secondary analysis of Professor Tedeschi Young's work where we explored the role of personal nuances on expertise development in sport. In a comprehensive review, Alan and colleagues found that personality is an important determinant of long-term success in sports. In a series of studies investing the role of athletes' personality on expertise development, Tedeschi and Young have shown the importance of three broad personality traits, conscientiousness, grit, and self-control. Because personality facets, which are trait subscales and therefore more specific level in the trait hierarchy, tend to improve the prediction of the outcomes by broad traits, Tedeschi and Young's studies also explored the role of the facets of conscientiousness, grit, and self-control on expertise development. In Tedeschi and Young's original comparative analysis, they found that per Perseverance and effort, a facet of grit, was the best predictor of deliberate practice and mandatory practice. Achievement striving, a facet of conscientiousness, was the best predictor of optional practice. And consistency of interest, another grit facet, best predicted of the putting one for. However, a recent body of work has proposed there may be another level in the trade hierarchy below facets called personality nuances, which refer to the specific behavioral, cognitive, motivational, and effective patterns measured by individual items of a personality questionnaire. Looking at body mass, Mokus and colleagues found that nuances help explain additional variants of outcomes from that already explained by broad traits and facets. However, no one has explored nuances in relation to expertise development in sport. Therefore, the purpose of this current study was to test whether athletes' personality nuances are associated with the practice and commitment-related outcomes in sport and whether nuances help increase the variance already explained by facts. To do so, we performed a secondary analysis of the data from Tedeschi and Young's 2018 research, which contained information about 270 athletes from both individual and team sports, ranging from local to international competition levels. Outcome variables for both practice-related measures and threats to commitment including the average number of hours per week of deliberate practice, the frequency of engagement in mandatory and optional practice, and the thoughts and the frequency of which they thought about bringing their sport. We assess nuances by looking at athlete scores on scale items for achievement striving, perseverance of effort, and consistency of interest. For example, I work hard, I am a hard worker, and my interests change from year to year. In addition to bivariate correlations between the nuances and our four outcome measures, data was analyzed using sets of multiple regressions for each outcome measure. For all of the multiple regressions, sex and age were in the first block and carried throughout as control variables. In the second block, the nuances of the previously identified best predicting facet were entered. Using a backwards deletion approach, we started removing non-significant nuances but only nuances significantly predicting our outcomes to remain in the model, representing the parsimonious combination. To test whether nuances help increase the variance already explained by facets in the original primary analysis, we first built Tedeschi and Young's model of best facet predictors for each outcome. Next, we included the parsimonious combination of nuances as a final step in the model and assessed the significance of change in the predictability of the models. As shown in the table, the vast majority of correlations between personality nuances and outcome variables tested so significant associations in the direction that we expected based on Tedeschi and Young's 2018 findings. Interestingly, the strongest correlations that we found involved relationships conceptually related to hard work and sustained commitment. In this table, we have each of the dependent variables, the variance explained by facets in the 2018 study, Followed by the parsimonious combinations of nuances from the current study and the variance it explained. Finally, we have the additional variance explained facets by nuances. With the exception of deliberate practice, the variance explained by the parsimonious combination of nuances was the same, if not marginally larger than that explained by facets. Furthermore, when assessing the additional variance explained by both facets and the parsimonious combination of nuances, we found that the variance explained slightly increased for all of our outcome variables. This increase approached significance for both mandatory and optional practice. 
For example, in Tedeschi and Young's 2018 study, classes explain 9% of variance of optional practice. In this current study, we found that two scale items explain 10% of variance of optional practice. And furthermore, the total variance explained by the treatment strategy facet and two of its items was also 10%. When comparing this to the 9% explained by achievement striving alone, the change of approach significance. Theoretically, our results support Marcus and colleagues' finding that nuances have important predictive ability, which supports the claim that nuances can stand alone and can be considered independently as part of the personality hierarchy. Furthermore, comparative analysis of additional variants explained facets by nuances suggest an increase in variance explained approaching significance, which suggests that without looking at nuances, researchers may be missing details that may allow for a more nuanced understanding of support outcomes. From a methodological standpoint, similar amounts of variance in our outcome variables were explained by the nuances as that explained by facets, thus leading us to ponder the question, do researchers need to analyze personality measures via facets? Can researchers save participant time and their own time by assessing personality nuances? Is it possible to explain outcomes with just one or a few personality nuances instead of full sets of personality questionnaires? Our results also show an association between most investigated nuances of the human striving, perseverance of effort, and consistency of interest and our outcome variables. In particular, associations were stronger for nuances conceptually related to hard work and sustained commitment in one sport. To conclude, nuances were associated with and may further our understanding of expertise development in sports. However, our research could not assess causality, so little can be said about the directionality of these relationships. More importantly, additional research is needed to confirm these preliminary findings and substantiate our speculations. Our research does suggest that further investigation of nuances to answer these questions is more than warranted, as the answers have the potential to change our view of personality as well as the way we assess it and may nuance our understanding of how it relates to expertise development in sports. On that note, I thank you all for watching and I'll be happy to take your questions.